Hello you guys, it's your girl ZJ here giving you my weight loss journey update. Um, so, uh, September to October, I have lost 12 pounds. Uh, <clears throat> I would say maybe, I don't know, six or seven pounds of that probably counted for it was accounted uh, water accounted for that my guess that's my guess um <clears throat> so yeah and i say september october because after i came back from vacation in august i had some struggle i had and the struggle wasn't really exercising per se um i started to have pain and discomfort that stopped me and prohibited, per, prohibited me from even completing my exercise workouts. Uh, I couldn't get up the stairs uh, without feeling like my bones were about to break. Um, <clears throat> I was out of breath a lot. And I was just like, it's impossible that I gained so much weight in a week to where I can't even move. And really... The underlying problem was just, you know, it's the same thing. I, it's, it's my second mistake. California, I gained weight as soon as I came back. This year, I went to Vegas, gained weight. And who can guess why? Is it because I was eating out, you know? And no, because I made healthy choices even when I ate out. And only maybe once or twice did I splurge on something you know, that was like, you know, restaurant food. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, anyways, getting to the point, the reason is because two things. Well, one thing that both of those locations have in common, it's hot. I live in Seattle, Washington. We hardly get sun here, okay? Uh, they call it the, we call Seattle the rainy city, but really it's, it's there's other cities that rain all the time too we just have a lot of overcast like almost every day my dog's upset um anyway so yeah i was not drinking enough water i didn't drink a lot as it is but um i i wasn't and that underlying problem on top of that was the issues with my high blood pressure medication already being too strong for me um it forces me to pee a lot and I'm already trying to retain water my body's like no no I need this water and my blood pressure like, no you need to get rid of this water and then I, I have I'm already overweight which adds to the pain uh, my blood pressure goes up and your blood pressure goes up even when you don't know don't feel different um, that causes me to be tired a lot and you know my joints were hurting um, muscles were cramping easier so you get the point so I really want to stress to you women out there who are considered obese or even just overweight check with your doctor and make sure you don't have any issues that is related um, to you know to to your weight um, check your insides <laughs> what I mean by that is you can be skinny and still have high cholesterol or blood pressure. Um, <clears throat> so check and make sure before you go jump into a high intensity workout like a P90X, you know, make sure you check with your doctor and say, hey, look, you know, uh, do I have any, you know, do I need any, take any, any vitamin suppl supplements and, and don't get super, super, you know, super vitamins or anything. You can only absorb so much, but sometimes you do need to, you know, take a supplement if you're not getting enough from your food. Um, you know, if you're not eating properly in, in, enough that your food can just take care of it for you. What I really want to do and I encourage everyone else to do is get what you need, your nutrients from your vegetables and your fruit. But some of us aren't really good with that. So, you know, you got to get it from somewhere. Your water is very important. You can't get it from anything else. You have to, you have to have and drink your water, uh, your food or or, or uh, vitamin D supplements, calcium, magnesium, 
zinc or whatever, you know, check with your doctor first. Um, sometimes they'll refer you to, to a nutritionist, but after I just started drinking water, most of the other symptoms and issues disappeared. Um, my body just was like, I need water, and you took me to that hot ass <laughs> Vegas for a week, and I was walking around, how dare you do that to me, you know? Um, but I didn't drink a lot, you know, so I only drank one little thing. I never actually drank, you know, like I wasn't partying, so I didn't kill my body while I was out there, but I'm really proud I lost 12 pounds. I'm doing, I'm very, I'm confident and I'm comfortable enough to say I lost weight and, and mean it. I can see it. Uh, I think you get, you get, I've lost it in my face and my clavicle, my deltoids. You can't see it very well, but my face is starting to look healthier. Maybe it's because of the water. I don't know. But you can see the outline. Face is looking better. Um, my upper chest bust area and uh, my upper abs. That's the process of my of how I'm losing weight. I won't hit the bigger spots until late. They, the, I, I don't lose weight until my butt in in my butt in my thighs until later. So, um, you know, I'm still working on it. But oh gosh, I talk a lot. I know. Uh, but to you women out there, if you really are serious about changing your life. This is a lifestyle change. Remember, you have to keep practicing until perfect about eating habits. You don't do it for a period and then you lose the weight and then you start back up on eating healthy. You have to practice this for the rest of your life. Even if you make a mistake or have a, a have a cheat day or a cheat meal, you eventually will you'll practice trying to eat better for the rest of your life. And that's what the goal is, is to do better at your eating habits and exercise, uh, you know, for the rest of your life, um, no matter what that exercise is. So that's your guys' update. Um, I wish you well and take care of yourself, um, take care of your body, and um, I will keep my video, uh, video game walkthroughs uh, coming and see you guys next time. Bye.